Let's talk about transient global amnesia. So this is a clinical syndrome characterized by the acute onset of anterograde amnesia, and this is the key feature. You'll have difficulty forming new memories. Sometimes there can be a variable degree of retrograde amnesia, but this is not required for the diagnosis. It occurs more commonly in people over the age of 50 years old, although the cause itself is unknown. Is it a cerebrovascular event or maybe it's related to migraines? It does seem to have an association with migraines and it also involves the mediobasal temporal lobe and hippocampus. The key clinical features are that the episodes will begin acutely and last between 1 and 24 hours. And again, anterograde amnesia is the key clinical feature, and it'll be much more prevalent than the retrograde amnesia. The patients will ask repetitive orientation questions, such as where are we and what day is it? However, other learned tasks, such as motor memory, uh, memory of complex tasks and semantic memory and language functions are normal and there will also be full recovery of memory afterwards although there may be a lapse of memory during the event. Key features otherwise are that the level of alertness is normal. They will have a sense of personal identity and cognition is normal otherwise as well, besides the memory function. Uh, headaches are sometimes reported. Key in the evaluation is to rule out other causes, so you'll want to look for oxygenation status with a blood gas, uh, electrolytes and glucose, and any abnormalities in the toxicology screen. The patients should be assessed for stroke symptoms, such as weakness or numbness on one side, and Wernicke encephalopathy symptoms as well, such as ophthalmoplegia or gait abnormalities. Note that Wernicke encephalopathy can present as just memory dysfunction alone without the triad. A MRI brain without contrast is recommended for evaluation to rule out stroke. So, on the imaging, the CT head, if it's done first, it'll be normal. And on the MRI brain, you can either see, it can either be normal or you can see bright lesions in the hippocampus on DWI. So. The treatment is mainly supportive and you can observe the symptoms until they resolve. Uh, IV thymine, 500 milligrams is also recommended as again Wernicke encephalopathy can present with just memory dysfunction. In terms of prognosis, the recurrence rate is 2.5 to 5% a year. However, there appears to be no increased risk of stroke, epilepsy, or mortality.